I'm John Martin. I started up Martin Brothers right here out of Lake Elsinore, California. So like as far as the Martin Brothers thing goes, you know, like I said, the idea of it is to really take care of the smaller guy. There's a niche for everybody. There's the big shops and small shops and whatever. And I'd like to think that we're right in the middle. You know, like I said, we'll, we'll take care of the thousand, two thousand pieces a month but we're also working really hard to make sure that we can take care of the guy with the one, two piece, 10 piece order. And try to, you know, educate him on manufacturing and things like that to help smooth out the process. And uh, that's kind of what we do is somewhat education. So it's a manufacturing education and why we do the things that we do and how to, to achieve their goals too, you know. And it's all under the business and I'm the guy doing the paperwork yeah. all of our shit. So, yeah, I do all the paperwork, all the programming, all the customer stuff, everything. I have one guy full-time who basically runs the machine that's done programming. So we have different customers, you know, like, so we have Garage Brewing, right? So we're doing their tap handles. They started out with 500, and then we're doing more. And then, uh, you know, we've got some injection molding things, and we do parts, though, for um, different base rig companies, so base jumping. So we've done parts for people like that. We've also done uh, seat belt clips, you know, brake calipers and rotors and, you know, kind of more of the taboo stuff where a lot of safety is involved in process. So again, we, I try to educate people as much as possible. I said, hey, okay, you want to build something that someone's life essentially feels like it's in your hands. Well, this is the proper way to go about these steps. This is how you do it correctly all sorts of just random things. There's parts for trophy trucks. I do a lot of off-road stuff, so spindles and doing plasma cutting for um, a lot of aftermarket Harley applications. So just, you know, what people like to, what they need. <laughs> what do you need? We'll do what we can to get it to you, you know? But yeah, that's the thing, you know, so, so the idea is not really, it's kind of weird. Everybody wants to grow and do their things. And I really like where we're at already. You know, I like the size that we're at and I like what we're doing. And I, I don't look into getting, becoming a huge shop because of the overhead, because after time, you know, that will eventually phase out taking care of the smaller guy. So. So if it's all priced appropriately and everybody's on the same playing field and they all understand, you know, we all agree and it's fun like that, it really keeps it fun. You know, I can, I spent many years working for Yamazin and, and other companies doing some pretty amazing things and being in the corporate world. So, you know, I've done that, I liked it, but I feel that this is much better, you know, for me. And I still do work with them you know they're they're one of my customers as well so everybody's happy and stuff but this is just like the niche that I found is to really help out I mean really like a lot of people they do they, they try to you know they want to build a big shop I've worked at, I've worked at big shops I've worked at 200 plus people shops I've worked at three man shops you know where we're at right here and and really what I'm looking at is getting a, a, a CNC lathe just adding another 800 square feet and that's it. You know, maybe a lift because we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna get more into the bigger vehicles. Not 10 scale, but actually one to one. <laughs> so just doing stuff like that, you know, but that's not our, our primary focus. That's, that's still fun. We like to keep it as fun as we can around here. So we got, you know, we have the go-karts with nitrous and we got the little blacktop racetrack. We've got a zip line and, you know, fun stuff. So that's, we're trying to keep that still. Oh yeah, we have a, we have, we have a pet rock, and his name is Vern. Man, a few words. For a tortoise, he actually yeah. moves. He does laps, he goes all around the property. He's my little weed eater. Just goes around and eats. Gotta keep him out of the garden, he eats corn. Pulls him right out of the ground. <laughs>